Hi guys, Melissa here. Welcome back to my channel. And I got my Ipsy subscription for the month of May. Um, I get the glam bag and the boxy charm. Um, I like both. I like the trial sizes um, for travel, for my bag, my backpack, my purse. Um, what? And um, my kitty cat, Penny. And then I love the boxy charm because you get the full size products. You get to pick three. This I only get to pick one. I just like the options. Um, so I really love doing this. So this is for the month of May. Now this is kind of a cute bag. I'm not gonna keep this. I love the way that it feels. I mean, it's kind of like, I mean, I am gonna be 50. <laughs> oh God. I'm not ready. I am gonna be 50 in October. Can you believe it? I just can't. But it's so soft and it's shiny and it does look like old lady wallpaper. So I think I kind of might need it. I actually kind of love this. I mean, it's really soft. I really love this. Um, has the Ipsy, I don't know. I really actually love this, okay. Um, so the month of May 2024 is the secret garden it says this month, these spring beauty staples will bring your look into full bloom. So I think which one, I don't remember which one I picked, um, it has a cute, like goldish tan. I mean, I, I literally cannot describe how soft this is for a shiny material. This is very soft, like buttery soft, like almost like leather, buttery soft. I'm kind of impressed with that. <laughs> okay. So I'm trying to see looking at it, what I picked, they didn't pick that, they picked that, they picked Oh, I remember. Okay. So I picked this because I was very intrigued by this. This is Dallas and James Skincare Co. Watermelon Dream Cloud Cream. It's a gel to water oil-free moisturizer. Um, I, I know like Butte does like a watermelon, watermelon drench cream that's supposed to be super hydrating. So that's why I took to this, um, it's hydrating watermelon, antioxidant superfruit, cloudberry, and pore perfecting niacinamide for a velvety smooth skin. It's vegan and cruelty free, free of parabens, sulfates, phthalates, synthetic fragrance, synthetic dyes, silicones, and mineral oil. This is what is a lightweight facial, what it is, sorry. <laughs> a lightweight facial moisturizer with hydrating watermelon, antioxidant superfruit, cloudberry, and pore perfecting niacinamide with velvety smooth and glowing skins. There's that on the back. Here's what it looks like on the front. I really kind of love the packaging. It's a very nice trial size. It's a deluxe sample. Ooh. And sorry if my hand is a little pink still, cause I just, um, if you want to watch the video, I just called Iconic London. So, uh, here's the, is it's gel to water moisturizer. I actually really love that. That's wonderful for summer. Yeah, I don't really notice a fragrance. Oh, that's so nice. Ooh. Um, what Ipsy says about it is, if I can find it, nope, you're not dreaming. This thirst quenching gel to water cream is everything you could ever want in a moisturizer. Ingredients like hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and watermelon work together to leave your skin feeling and looking vibrant, bouncy, and so hydrated. Love. Tip, morning and night massage a dick, <sighs> A nickel size dollop onto your face using circular motions. The full size 
version of this product is $48. Well, honestly, it feels so nice. Although that's very expensive, it might kind of be worth it. So yeah, love that. Okay. Now for me, they picked um, Symbiosis, Lon Symbiosis, sorry, London, HA and PG. Hyaluronic acid, papaya glycolic extract, ultra fine balancing sorbet, facial cryo exfoliator. I do love a good exfoliator. Um, it says gently massage a small amount into the skin after cleansing, then rinse the skin thoroughly with lukewarm water. Now I do open these and I do use them because I want to give them a review so Ipsy knows what I like, what I don't like. Um, so I do use these right away. Um, so I kind of want to smell it. So if it's something I don't think I, I would like, then I wouldn't open it. So it's, sorry, my bird is covered, so I don't know why she's doing that. Um, so it's like a real soft pink color. You can tell. I just want to see how gritty it is. It's like a very fine, which you would expect for your face. My apologies, she's really seriously covered. It's a pretty, like, soft, like almost Kleenex tissue kind of a smell. <laughs> um, so the full size of this one is $112. It says, soft skin, here we come. This luxurious exfoliator has arrived to help your complexion appear smoother, softer, and brighter. It has papaya extracts to help with hyperpigmentation and hyaluronic acid to make sure your skin stays hydrated and plump. I do have some hyperpigmentation um, so I kind of love that. I don't know that I would spend $112 for the full size. Um, so they picked for me, my sincere apologies. Covering her should fix that. She is so quiet until I'm doing a video. So people are gonna unsubscribe but if I get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway. So don't give up on me. I <laughs> you might get cool things. So, oh, well, this one's kind of dented. Um, this is Kat Berkey Nutrient C Eye Cream. I love eye cream. The older you get, the more you appreciate eye cream. <laughs> says, this invigorating eye cream helps instantly brighten and revive tired looking eyes thanks to a combo of vitamin C and caffeine. The formula also includes reishi mushroom, neem seed oil, both very good ingredients, and green tea to help promote skin renewal and strengthen the delicate skin around the eye. So there we go with the Cat Perky Nutrient C Eye Cream. Yes, I'm going to open it because I'm going to use all of these tonight because I like to do the reviews. Some people don't want to open them and start the timeline, but I usually end up going through these as fast as I get them. Yeah, it has a real soft, light, almost citrusy smell. Feels very nice. I, I'm loving the texture. I'm kind of picky. If it's real watery, then I'm like, you're not helping me. This is a nice, it's not super heavy, but it's very, like a, a nice medium weight, but I feel like it might actually do something. So loving that so far. It's very moisturizing. I can feel like the oils in it. That's actually kind of impressive. Hmm. Uh, the full size of that product is $90, you guys, which this is a nice eye cream sample. Like some of them are tiny. That's actually a decent size for an eye cream. Huh. This is a deluxe sample, so. 
I mean, with shop pay, I would pay that. <sighs> Sorry about my bird. Then they also sent me from Toy Factory, High Lash, this cute packaging. Um, from Toy Factory. And as I open this, it says, this revolutionary mascara and ser serum hybrid mascara has your lashes best interest at heart. Not only does it help volumize and lengthen them, but thanks to the addition of hyaluronic acid, your lashes never feel dry or brittle. So I kind of love that. Says your serum and mascara are now one. Hydrate your eyelids in the root of your lashes with one hyaluronic acid serum mascara for healthy, bold looking lash. So look at that holographic hat. Oh, this is cute, like to put in your backpack. I love this kind of size to take with you, but I'm obviously going to use it so that I can review it. So, so Ipsy knows um, if it's something I would want again. Okay, so let's check out the wand. Ooh, it's a nice sized wand. So I'm anxious to try that. Love that. I also like to try these so that if these become options, I usually never have the extra money to buy the 80% off or you know, 50 to 80% off products that go on sale. But um, if this becomes an option in, in the, um, Boxy charm, then I know if I like it or not. And then they also picked for me last but not least. Oh, let me just show you this. This is What's Up Beauty Egyptian Queen Lipstick in Seba, S E B A. If you have AirPods on, I sincerely apologize. Like, that gives me stress and upsets me to the point that I like really could cry right now. Like I wish that she would stop doing that. I don't know why she does that. Um, I've covered her, my apologies. Um, but here's the color. Oh, that's interesting. When you take off the cover, Yeah, the writing is on here, huh? It says buttery matte lipstick with one swipe opacity, formulated with sodium hyaluronate, vitamin E, and then a bunch of things. It's vegan and cruelty free, which I appreciate. Um, I do have a a plumping from Iconic London on like lip gloss. Well, let me wipe that off and we will try this on. So here's the color. I mean, wait, you have to appreciate this. Like, look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, really adorable. Um. Wait, let me get a mirror. <laughs> Hang on one sec. Well, luckily, one came in my iconic London thing that I just hauled. I love that it's a nice nude color. It does feel very moisturizing, buttery soft. I know it's a lip color, but honestly, the color is nude enough that you could honestly wear that as a lip balm. 
So kind of loving that. It's very buttery soft. I really kind of love that. Okay, so Win Win Ipsy. That was fantastic. Um, so to recap in my glam bag, and I, I'm seriously in love with this. This is one of the best ones they've done. That's so incredibly soft. I got the What's Up Egyptian Queen Lipstick in Siba. Love that. I got the Toy Factory High Relash Serum Mascara. Love that. This is amazing. This is the Cat Berkey Vitamin C Eye Cream. Loving that. I mean, I can still feel it. Um, This is wonderful. This is Dallas. I'm glad I picked this. Dallas and James Skincare Co. Watermelon Dream Cloud Cream. Water to gel, or gel to water. And then the Symbosis Skincare Prestige Ultra Fine Balancing Sorbet Facial Cry Cryo Exfoliator. So I'm loving all of these products. Um, the full size lip lipstick um, is $23. That's a great price. Like I said, the Dallas and James full size is $48. I would pay that if it's good enough. The Cat Berkey eye cream is $90 though. That's getting up there. The Toy Factory High, high Lash Hyaluronic Serum Mascara, the full size is $24. That's a good price if it works and then the full size um balancing sorbet facial cryo exfoliator from symbosis skincare is 112 that's steep but i'm loving this so good job ipsy there now let's go to my and yes it came this way <laughs> from um boxy charm i did check and all of my products are in here but I could have lost something, so that was frightening. <laughs> so let me pull up the website here. Okay. Now, they, again, it's the same secret garden. These are kind of boring to me, but... Um... Yeah, like they don't always tell me a whole lot. Here's some stuff on the back. Pika June's Choice lineup. June. Oh, so you can pick these things in June. Well, well that's kind of cool. And then if you get the icon box, I never do that because I don't want to pay the extra money. I pay enough. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't get this, then okay, but I'm kind of loving the small sizes, get through things. Okay, so they picked for me, and I do not love this brand. This is Murad Renewing Cream Cl Cleansing Cream. I threw one of these out. And it was a full size like this because it smelled like Elmer's glue. And I'm kind of scared to try this because I couldn't get through it. And honestly, I'm considering, I'm actually strongly considering, it's going to take me a bit. I only have like 1,600 subscribers, but another like 400 subscribers. I think I'm going to do a giveaway and I think I'm going to give this in the giveaway. It's a perfectly wonderful cream. I just couldn't, and I don't know that this is the exact same. It's probably not. Um, it gets a lot of five-star reviews. Um, someone loves it. Someone says, loving this hydrating cleanser. It's a big bottle, goes long, a little goes a long way. Has an iridescent pearl white color that feels like moisturizing cream. Has a strong fragrance. Oh, smells like a French perfume. I take it back. <laughs> I'm glad I read that. I might try this. Um, it gets bubbly and washes good. The scent is not overpowering. It 
This brand is high end. How do they figure? I don't think this is high end. I, I actually don't love this brand. But I'm very intrigued by the scent. It says um, creamy cleanser featuring lactic acid and a peptide and an antioxidant transforms into a luxurious lather to remove impurities and refresh for a more youthful looking complexion. Um, smells delicious. Okay, you won me over. Sorry, <laughs> but it's gonna take me a while to get to another 400 subscribers so i'm sure something else will come along okay don't let me down reviews okay let's see let's learn more about this thing that they sent me okay oh you know what it does wait okay it says, get ready to pamper your skin like never before with a luxurious clean cleanser. It transforms into a silky cream. I'm sorry, I'm reading too fast. From a silky cream into a comforting lather that lifts away all the oils and impurities from the day formulated with ingredients like lactic acid, peptides, apricot oil. It also brightens your complexion and refreshes your skin's natural moisture barrier so you're left with supple, hydrated skin. Like, don't let me down, Ipsy. This had better smell good, that's all I have to say. I mean, it does have, I mean, you have to take off the, oh, it is like a nice texture, like very pearl, pearl, pearl essence. It, this one does smell nice. I'm actually glad I kept it. It's not, it's barely smells. Oh, Jasper and Charlie. But that's actually very nice. Okay. Well, I'm glad I kept that. The one that I had was like a, a light exfoliant and I just, I couldn't get through it. Okay. So don't hate that. Like I thought it was gonna. Um, now what also they sent me, um, I don't normally go for this kind of thing. I think they sent this to everything because it's, you know, the secret garden is the theme. You did, Jasper. Um, so I'm shocked the way my box was all tore apart. Um, that... This wasn't broken to pieces. I did pull this out and check it. Um, this is from Cartier London. It's I am a woman. What's your superpower? So it's a palette. I don't normally get the palettes. Mostly because I'm pretty happy with Jeffree Star. But this is very nice feeling packaging. Like it feels almost velvety. But it's it's not. Um, it says to all the amazing women. We see you. We hear you. And we celebrate you. So, a nice unicurtain, and then here's the palette itself. It's PETA approved, which makes me very happy. So, here is the palette. I kind of really love this. So, if I didn't, I would give it away. Um, but these are all very neutral, very, I can do purple. With my eye color, blue is a little hard for me because of my eye color. I, I feel like blue works really good with people with brown eyes. Um, but there's so many neutrals and pinks in here and I can do purple, but I'm actually gonna keep this. I'm really happy with it. So let me swatch some things here. Maybe she'll be quiet. I really kind of love the colors, you guys. Oh, they're really pretty. Some of them seem like they'd be buildable because they don't go on super strong. So that's the first row. Loving that. Let's go with the next row. I'm gonna put, ooh, that's really pretty. It's 
actually really pretty, you guys. So there's the second row. Look at those shimmers. Ooh, love those. Let's go with the third row. That's nice. It's just a really pretty palette. Ooh, these shimmers are really pretty, you guys. Like, really pretty. Like, check, check those out. Those are gorgeous. I kind of love that. Very neutral, very wearable. Let's go with the last row. That's pretty. Yeah, that's a good palette. If you guys got this, I think you'll be pretty happy with it if you're into neutrals. Like for, I work at a bank, I feel like this is more, um, more of something that's bank appropriate. So I'm kind of loving these, like a lot. They're all very wearable. I mean, that's pretty good pigment. Yeah, the shimmers are very shimmery, love it. Okay, so Cartier London, loving this palette. This is very cute. And that's the I Am Woman. What's your superpower palette? So this is cute. They picked this for me, I kind of love it. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, that's really good. I don't know, maybe I'll leave it on there. Um, now, to what I picked. <laughs> I have this in another color, and um, the one that I have is kind of peachy color, like a real bright, vibrant peachy color. And yeah, I kind of like that, but I really love this one. You have to go easy handed on these liquid blushes because a little goes a long way. Um, but this is TYS Beauty. It's Cheek Treat in the color Splash. Um, vegan, non-GMO, paraben, sulfate free, cruelty free, clean. Um, so gently remove excess product from the applicator. Use the doe foot applicator to dab one to two dots on the cheek. And I'm not kidding, just dots. So for deeper color, add more as desired. Definitely start very, like barely touch it. And then you can always build. Um, blend out using your fingertips and gently pat into your skin. It's this clean liquid formula adds healthy flush of seamless color that evenly blends and is comfortable to wear. It's infused with collagen properties to help improve firmness, smooth out fine lines, and hydrate the skin. Use this good for you liquid blush that melts into the skin for an effort, effortless lasting glow. It's a lightweight, long lasting formula treat for the cheek that builds pigment for a spot, for a spot of flush, for a soft flush of color and dewy finish. Which the older you get, um, like this is such a pretty color. Like pink is very me. Um, this is more a little bit wintry, darker, but um, yeah. So <laughs> you can see the colored my hand a little bit. Um, let's just pat this here so you can see it's kind of dark, but it's beautiful. I love this. Okay. That's why a little tiny bit goes a long way, especially with a darker color, but it's very blendable. But just go very small. Um, yeah. I love that. It's a beautiful kind of wintry color for me. I also picked 
Um, I do love a good body scrub and this is Love Script Sugar Plum Body Polish. Now I wanted to get this because I haven't gotten anything like this from them. It says Love Script, your body is a temple, polish it. That's what it looks like. Mm. Sorry. It says, show your bod some serious love and attention with this luxurious scrub. It delicately yet effectively exfoliates your skin to leave you feeling nourished, silky, and oh so smooth. has a nice plastic thing to pull up. Oh, that's gorgeous. It reminds me a little bit of Philosophy Amazing Grace perfume. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's a little more jelly than I'm used to. Um, but I love this. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> Sent to me. Um, I just want to see. Scent not preferred. <laughs> I love it. If you love Philosophy Amazing Grace Perfume, I think you'll really love this. Um... People don't like the scent, it smells like old perfume. I don't think so. I think it's very floral though. Um, it says the floral scent is not for me. It does not have enough exfoliation. I think it's wonderful. Uh, it smells really good, but I wish it had more of a scent and was a bigger jar. It smells great, wish it was a bigger size. Yeah, I literally feel like this is very similar to Philosophy Amazing Grace perfume. And if you love that, highly recommend. I'm obsessed. And then I also picked, um, this is, now last glam bag, I got the hand scrub. Um, you know, it was like this size, looks just like it, but it's a hand scrub. So I got, because I thought this would be great after, Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Body Cream. Now I am kind of a snob when it comes to the texture of a lotion. I prefer body butter, whips, anything really thick. I don't like liquidy. I can't tell. <laughs> um, it says elevate your body care game with this anti-aging body cream that's a must have for every skin type. Packed with concentrated goodness, it showers your skin with divine hydration. Not only does it help minimize the appearance of fine lines while helping to increase firmness, elasticity, but it also smells divine. Think mandarin, sea salt, and rose. Well, that sounded wonderful. <laughs> Says more like a perfumed cream. This person was hoping for a more buttery consistency, but it left a silky feeling. This person has um, sensitive skin. It didn't irritate. It also kind of smells like cologne, but I like it though. Hmm. This is luxuriously rich and nourishing anti-aging body cream. Creme to be specific. Perfect for all skin types. Super concentrated with divine hydration, brilliantly minimizes the appearance of fine lines while increasing firmness in elasticity. Celebrate the resplendent beauty of your body, applies desired. Well, let's try it. I'm intrigued. This is vegan, if you can look on the bottom here. Vegan. <laughs> Paraben free, phthalate free. So, you always have me at the vegan. That's cool. Oh, I think it's pretty. Okay. So far, it's not runny and I'm kind of loving the texture. So it's not running down my hand. It's, it's pretty thick. I'm happy with that. Um, oh, it's kind of like a whipped butter. 
but it, oh, that's gorgeous. Cologne, no. It's very spa-like, but um, it melts into like something very, almost like a gel to, like gel to water. Um, very moisturizing. Oh, this is actually kind of nice for summer. It, okay, so it goes on, I kind of love this. Um, how you doing, Mike? Uh, hang on one sec. Sorry, guys. Um, so, Mike had something in his mouth, but he was kind of acting like it was stuck to him and hurting him. Um, and he was dancing backwards and stuff, so... I went over to see what it was. He wouldn't let me touch it, but then it, it fell down. It was on the ground. It was like an, some kind of a flying ant. It was big and it must have pinched his lip because it was like hanging. It was weird. Um, but yeah, we killed that. <laughs> Whatever that. I don't even know where that came from. Unless things crawl through my air conditioner. Hmm. Cause it's not on all the time, it's on Echo. Anyways, <laughs> so sorry for the interruption. So this cream is very, it goes on kind of thick. Like it, it's not runny or anything. But then as you, it kind of melts into your skin and it's kind of um, like a gel to water kind of a, a texture, but then it's, it's extremely moisturizing. I don't know if you can tell. And it smells very spa. Um, fancy. Sorry, Polly's coughing. Anyways, um, Gloss Modern. I'm kind of loving this. I'm very happy that I received this. Um, someone says, if you have tattoos, this preserves and brings out the beauty of your skin. My artwork looks brand new after two uses. I love. Um, so I kind of love this. It says, leaves my skin feeling very soft, has a pleasant fragrance. Yeah, it's very spot. It's not super strong. But if you're very sen sensitive, I can see how you might not love these things. But I think they're kind of soft. I don't think they're strong at all. And that's kind of like ocean spa to me. Um, I kind of love this. So you guys, um, someone says, this is my top favorite product. I am so obsessed. I can't get enough of it. Not only is it extremely hydrating to my skin, but the smell is out of this world amazing. I would recommend this cream to everyone and tell you that it is 100% worth it. The only downfall is you need to use it sparingly because the bottle is small. 100% true. So this is full size product. Let's see if it tells us. So I hate that this doesn't really tell. Um, yeah, I kind of hate that this isn't telling us the price. I don't know. I don't think this little um, thing tells us either. So, oh, I take it back. Okay. This palette is a $45 value. And honestly, I think it's kind of phenomenal. I'm really happy with this. Do you see that shimmer? I love that. I love the matte. I love the shimmer. The shimmer kind of looks like liquid. <laughs> it's beautiful. So this is a $45 value. Um, this is a $28 value. I mean, I wish it was bigger, but that's... Oh, this is so good. Sugar Plum Body Polish. I'm not even kidding. This reminds me an awful lot of like uh, Philosophy Amazing Grace. This is $28. This is 
This is a $45 cream, you guys. Now that's gonna take you at least three months to use this, at least. This is huge. So that's, that's definitely worth $45. I don't know the price on this or this, but I love this. This isn't that much. This, I don't know. Yeah, you guys, so be very light handed on this, like just a teeny tiny dot and build. I mean, and this will take you a good six months to a year to use this size. I'm not even joking. This is a wonderful, liquid blush. I really do love this. I love the color. Um, love this. This is, I'm obsessed, the, obsessed. Way better than I thought it was going to be like kind of obsessed. It, it actually smells really nice. Obsessed. Um, yeah, obsessed. Gorgeous. Stunning. Love, 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 love. So that's my boxy charm, and then you saw my glam bag. So you guys, I'm I'm loving everything. I'm sorry, <laughs> there's nothing for me to actually give away because it's just all good enough that I mean I picked three of the items, so I knew I'd kind of want them. They did a great job with this palette. Um, even my glam bag, they did a fantastic job picking things for me, but that's why I always use these as soon as I get them and review them. Um, and I try to use them up right away. So I, I mean, I get so much stuff in here and my boxy charm every month that I can't, sometimes I can't use it up fast enough. Like the mascaras have before gotten dried out before I got to them because I'm using something else. So honestly, the things that I do run out of and I do try to grab every time I see these is eye cream and moisturizer. Um, but they know I love eyeliner and mascara. I'm usually always gonna pick those. I have more than enough blush. But to me, blush eyeshadows don't really go bad. And I don't usually pick the eyeshadow palettes. Um, I. I mean, I'll get through this, no problem at all. <laughs> Fantastic, I'm obsessed. I wanted something different, and I'm usually always gonna pick the beauty products unless there's a fantastic product that I've tried that I'm like, wait, I need more of this in a, in a color that I really love. Um, I'm actually glad they sent this to me. That's a redeeming quality for this brand because <laughs> I was not impressed with the last stuff that I got, so I'm actually happy. Yeah, so you guys, if you see these come up, um, highly recommend. This is the softest thing, and I'm kind of loving this bag. I mean, I wouldn't even mind that as wallpaper with like a white Wayne's coating underneath. I love the sagey color with the floral. <laughs> you can tell I'm getting older, right? Because <laughs> I'm kind of loving this. Um, you can do like this light sage colored wings coating with this or this. Oh, so pretty. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys, I'm happy with everything. There's nothing that I don't like. I love everything. I love the lip color. I love the eye cream. The only thing is I wish I'd have gotten more moisturizer because um, I feel like I'm going to kind of go through this cloud cream pretty fast. But I'm loving this exfoliator. This is a nice size for the eye cream. Um, I'm currently using Elemis. Um, these are always perfect. These, these are great for travel too. You're not taking a giant mascara. And yeah, this is a nice neutral lip color. I'm really kind of loving it. It's like I don't have anything on, but it's creamy. Um, yeah, you guys, I'm super happy. So <clears throat> hope that's helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. But I highly recommend um, Glam Bag if you just, I mean, I seriously struggle to get through all of this stuff in a month. <clears throat> but in combination with the other things, the more you review your products and let them know by actually trying them and saying, you know, it helps those of us 
I look at the reviews before I pick things. Um, I don't just immediately pick things unless I know I love it. I mean, I spend some time on some reviews to go, okay, so this smells pretty. It doesn't smell like Elmer's glue, like the last stuff. I did not look, they, they sent me this, so it wasn't one of my choices, but yeah. So you guys, Ipsy's so much fun. It's a self-care thing for myself. It's a way to take care of myself. I feel beautiful and having fun trying new things. Um, actually, a friend of mine, because I was talking about, and I give her little girl most of these. I'm going to actually keep this one. I'm loving this. Um, but I give her a little girl this stuff, and she had BoxyCharm before it was with Ipsy, and she loved it. Um, and I'm like, you seriously should go for it. If you don't want the makeup, she doesn't wear makeup, really, um, just tell them. In your quiz, tell them I don't want makeup. Um, you know, just you can answer those questions. Just do your reviews and tell them I didn't want this. Why are you sending this to me? Give it a bad review, whether it's a bad product or not. Um, and they'll stop sending them as much to you. I do get a nice mixture. Mine's heavy on the beauty, but I do get the few makeup things. I think everybody got this, um, but I picked this, like the mascara. They're always, I love and always highly rate mascara, eyeliner, um, lip gloss, lipstick, um, and then the beauty. They, they know I love beauty. Like I'm literally loving my life. They sent me Iconic London mascara and eyeliner it provoked me to go shopping with iconic london i did a a haul video um so you can check that out i did that today as well but i'm loving iconic london and thanks to ipsy i knew that i loved them um so thank you ipsy for my cats are chasing each other um thank you ipsy for introducing me to brands that i've fallen in love with like iconic london thank you for um showing me new things and yeah I'm having a great time you guys um I hope you'll join with me thanks for watching and sorry my biggest apology is about all of my animal drama love me anyways I'll see you guys soon bye